So finally, it seems that Elon Musk is finally buying Twitter. All the six months drama seems to be can be put to the test. But Elon Musk seems to be finally buying Twitter. Why? Because the court has ordered him to do so. There is a court given deadline that Elon Musk needs to buy Twitter before October 28 else face legal consequences or face the legal trial well i am devishi sarkar for tech to gizmos i will be back with the entire story of the entire elon musk twitter saga it can be converted into a movie it will be a great movie who knows but then as elon musk is always as dramatic as he always is you know what he did was quite surprising he actually walked in twitter's headquarters in san francisco just days before uh, this twitter deadline with a kitchen sink in his hand, that's right, wash basin, that's what, that's what, and he's, he tweeted that, hey, let's sing this in, check out this footage. <laughs> So that's right, Elon Musk actually entered Twitter's headquarters with a kitchen sink in his hand. Well, now going back to the entire Elon Musk Twitter deal saga that you can see, it all started on April 4, 2022, when Elon Musk said, hey, I have 9% stake in Twitter. Big deal. Again, in April 20, uh, April 14th, it was confirmed. Elon Musk publicly announced that he is taking over Twitter for $54.20 per share. The deal was amounting to $44 billion. Quite a bit of money. Elon Musk later said, hey, I have the money. I have all the finances sorted, loans, etc., etc., cash. And I can actually buy Twitter. Twitter was really so shocked. They were like, hey, why is Elon Musk buying us? But then later they agreed, okay, let's let's face it, it's Elon Musk. It's fine, you can go ahead with the deal. They agreed to the price as well. The price was pretty good. But then Elon Musk finally realized that, hey, he might be paying more for Twitter. You know, $44 billion is a, quite a lot of money. And just for the sake of reference for this video only, Consider the Facebook or WhatsApp deal for $19 billion that happened, I know, years back. But just consider that WhatsApp is used by almost everybody in India. I'm just taking the India reference just to make you understand. WhatsApp is almost used by everybody in India, but only less than 1% of India's population uses Twitter. Twitter is a big voice in itself, no denying that. But in terms of user base, it's not. I mean, like, you can find celebrities, you can find, find a lot of popular people out there, politicians, of course. But the arm janta, they don't use Twitter that much. And Elon Musk might be thinking, that, hey, why am I paying more than double for, for, like, for reference of WhatsApp's deal? But then uh, later, he did not particularly highlight this concern per se. But then he raised the concerns of fake accounts, bots, and spam. He said that, hey, you know what? I might have paid more for Twitter. Just look at, there are so many bot accounts, fake accounts, spam happening on Twitter. And, uh, you know, which basically, uh, basically devalues Twitter. This is where enter Indian origin, Indians, uh, India, uh, Indian origin Twitter CEO, Parag Agarwal. This is where he brilliantly defended Twitter. He said that, hey, fake accounts and bots and spams are a problem on Twitter, yes, but we have been handling this pretty well till now and we will be handling it as well. And this is not a huge concern per se. And he just defended his company. And that's where Elon Musk and Parag Agarwal got into a lot of bitterness, you can say. And there were reports that uh, Parag Agarwal may be removed after Elon Musk uh, takes over Twitter. But then there was all reports and was no, nothing official per se. So Elon Musk continued with that tone. You know what? Twitter has a fake news problem, fake account problem, spam problem. I may be reconsidering my decision to buy Twitter. I don't want to buy Twitter. Maybe. That is where Twitter got like, hey, a deal is a deal. You just can't back off like that, right? And you know what? You should have done your research before announcing that you're going to buy us. And now we have agreed to the price. You have to buy us now. That is as simple as it can get before, uh, without getting into all the legal terms. And you know what? So... <laughs> That's where Elon Musk was like, hey, but you have a fake news, uh, fake account problem. But you know what? Twitter said, deal is a deal. This is where, uh, when Elon Musk officially said that he is not going to uh, buy Twitter, 
Twitter just went to the court and just sued Elon Musk. Yes, the world's richest man. They are saying that Twitter deal is done. You will have to buy us now. So that, that is like the summary of the entire story. Of course, you can read in all detail on news it in tech. But uh, now let's get back to that story. So when uh, this entire, when the court was got involved, Elon Musk was given a deadline. Hey, you will have to buy Twitter by October 28th or else face trial. The court was obvious, the case was obviously fast track so that this deal can be done quickly. And now Elon Musk has agreed to the base price uh, that he initially offered. He has agreed to buy Twitter for the agreed price of $41 billion, like the share and everything. And nothing changed from the initial deal. So finally, it seems that Elon Musk is buying Twitter. But there was another concern. Elon Musk somehow announced that he's going to fire 75% of the workforce of Twitter. That's a big number, 75 of the entire workforce. Either he's hinting that Twitter is overstaffed and so many people are not required to run Twitter or he's saying that, you know, there are not many good engineers and people working at Twitter. Either of them can be like, it's debatable. You know, it's Twitter after all. But later, now, the, uh, at, at present, uh, what happened was after this announcement, Twitter employees, even before Elon Musk be became the boss or the chief tweet, as you'd say, right now, Twitter employees started protesting. They they wrote an open letter to the board of directors, highlighting this concern of getting fired. Uh, but then later, what happened was uh, those, the, those statements were taken back. It was saying, no, we are not going to fire 70% of the workforce. So yeah, that's it. Elon Musk is finally buying Twitter. Twitter employees can expect not to get fired. So for more updates on the Elon Musk Twitter deal, stay tuned to Tech2Gizmos. I am Devishi Sarkar, signing off.